here's the problem. Customers know what they've experienced. They know how they feel about it. And analyzing their feedback can only get you an understanding of that. That's not really root cause analysis, even though a lot of companies call that root cause analysis. Root cause analysis requires understanding why those things happened. It, we talk about asking the five whys. L let me give you an example. There was an insurance company we worked with in their claims operation. And for a long time, they were getting feedback from customers that said, your representatives just aren't empathetic. They, don't, they make me feel like a criminal. They make me feel like I'm being interrogated. We asked, well, why? Why do you feel that way? The customer said, well, because they make me repeat the same information that I gave on prior calls. We asked the representatives, why do you make the customers repeat it? And they say, well, we actually don't have available to us in our system the information that they provided us previously. Well, the information exists, so why weren't the representatives able to access it? Well, they weren't able to access it because a project in technology that hadn't been prioritized to marry up different databases wasn't done. Why wasn't it done? And you, you go all the way to the root cause to try to understand how to tackle this. If we just implored the representatives, hey, be more empathetic, you get nowhere. Net promoter companies identify the most likely potential causes. They ask why five times at least to get to the root cause of an issue that the customer is feeling and talking about. They propose potential remedial actions, they prioritize those, and they ultimately institutionalize the capability, the skill set for understanding root cause. Deep understanding of root cause is at the heart of a truly customer-centric company, and it is a critical capability for a net promoter company.